So here's how it looks for the plaster. The plaster is going to be done tonight or this afternoon. Nice color, it's gonna be really dark in this field, huh? Yeah, the water going in. So the pool's almost filled, maybe about five more hours, then I'll fill up the spa. It's looking pretty good. What do you think, Kay? Good. Like the color? So during this our process, I'm going to leave the equipment off, of course, for at least four or five days. Why the acid does this work with the plaster desk. So don't, we're not going to turn the pool on for at least 4 or 5 days. And then the heater, we can't use the heater for a month at this pool. What? So what I'm going to do, yeah I know, it's a long time. I'm going to put some tape over here. I'm going to put a note saying do not use until X date. That what would is be X date? Like a certain date a month from now. Hmm. Which would be, you know, July, July. 5th, 14th? Yeah. Okay. Okay, one thing you need to note is why the pool is filling. You don't want to ever turn it off until it's all the way to the tile line. If you were to turn it off right now, there'll be a line in the plaster. So there has to always be water running. Even if it's a trickle, you want to have the water running while it's filling. As soon as the pool is filled, I'm going to go ahead and fill the spa up, which should fill pretty quickly. And when you're filling the water up, you want to make sure that you have the hose tied with the towel. That way it won't damage the plaster at the bottom. And tie it plastic bottles that way the hose will float up as the pool fills up. Another thing to note is you don't want to put any automatic cleaner in there for at least three or four weeks so the plaster is completely cured. This is a quartz colored plaster pool so for this plaster type you're going to want to add four gallons of acid per 10,000 gallons of water. Okay so I'm going to add about five gallons of acid this particular pool. Let me go ahead and add about a quart to the spa also. Okay, I have the spa filling up nicely now. I'm going to go ahead and test the pH right now, see what it's at to start the water and the fill water. And the pH, of course, is high. It's the fill water and plus the plaster itself has a high pH. And so with a new plaster pool, it's going to take a lot of acid to, keep, to cure the plaster. So for the first six months, don't be surprised if the pool requires a lot of acid in it to keep the pH low. I'm going to do an initial alkalinity test right now. The alkalinity is at 150 right now. Then I'm going to check the initial calcium hardness here. You can see that the calcium hardness here, this turn, indicated as at 150 right now. So it's a good idea to add a metal sequestering agent at startup. I use the Jack's Magic products. This will prevent any metal staining. Sometimes the fill water has metal in it. I'm going to dilute it in this large bucket here and then pour it around the perimeter during the startup. Add the Jack's Magic to this bucket here and I'm going to go ahead and pour it around the perimeter of the pool. I'm going to add the metal sequestering agent around the perimeter of the pool. And I'd like to dilute it. The pool's not running. That's a good idea. So it's not necessary to add a sequestering agent, but it's always a good idea since the fill water could have metal in it. That'll help prevent some staining.
When you do a start, you want to take some precautions. I have this note here on the gate for the homeowner not to swim for one month. I also have the sign on the heater not to use it for a month. And I have all the power off at the timer here. I also have it taped off so that they can't turn the pool on. Don't vacuum your pool for at least a month. The wheels will leave lines in the plaster. I usually wait at least 45 days myself to vacuum a pool just to give it that extra cushion. I've seen lines left in the plaster from someone vacuuming within 10 days or two weeks. No steel algae brushes either. And you don't want to add any chlorine to the pool during the startup process, during the acid process. If you're going to add it once the pool is running, we're going to just add a small amount to keep it at near zero or one parts per million. Shocking the pool for at least the first 30 days. I would prefer not shocking the pool at all for the first three or four months. Just use liquid chlorine. Once I get everything running, I'm going to add some conditioner to the pool. I don't like the traditional granular conditioner. It takes a while to dissolve. It also will affect the pH in the pool. I prefer using the natural chemistry instant conditioner. This bottle for this size pool should get it up to about 30 parts per million. So when you charge a conditioner, once everything is running, definitely go with the instant conditioner versus the regular granular cyanuric acid. And if you have a salt water generator, don't add the salt for at least 30 days. I prefer to wait at least 60 days to add the salt to a pool, the salt water generator and a new plaster pool. You see there's a ton of plaster dust in this particular pool. Okay, so when you pour the acid, you want to stay away from any step areas and the shallow end. I'm going to pour all the acid in the deep end of the pool. If you pour it here on the step area, it could cause some streaking and staining of the plaster. I'm just going to focus on the deep end here. The good thing about the deep end is that there's no bench seat here, so it's all just water. And after I pour the acid, I'm going to give the pool a good brush down, brush all the plaster dust up. I'll come back here this evening, give it another brush down, and the same thing all week long. Add the acid. And gallon number four. A little bit of acid in the bucket here, maybe a little less than a quart. And use that in the spa. Got a little more to go, then I'll pour the acid in the spa. In the meantime, I'm going to brush down the pool. I'm going to give it a nice light brush down with this nylon brush here. I'm just going to use it, just go gently on the plaster all the way around the pool. Kind of break that dust off the wall. The dust should come off really easily at this point. see where the dust is right now after I brush the little area. I'm going to go ahead and brush up the rest of the pool. And you can see the progress of the brushing. It's coming out really good. This time around you want to go ahead and start brushing a little more aggressively. Get the dust off the areas where it didn't come off on your first initial brushing. You want to brush the pool at least two or three times every day during the initial four or five days of the startup. You can have the customer help you out if you can't get there more than once a day but at least brush the pool two or three times a day during the first four or five days and make sure the dust doesn't stick to the walls that way the plaster cures properly. So it's starting to look really good right now. You can see all the dust is broken up. I use a curved nylon brush that way I don't hit the edges with the plastic part. It could leave marks on the plaster. Okay, the spa is a little dusty also. It doesn't need that much acid. A small body of water. I'm going to pour it carefully right in the middle of it. Okay, so the pool's looking really good after the initial brush down. Almost all the dust came off the walls pretty easily. And this remodel was done by Steel Pools in Orange County. Okay, you can see after the second brushing, it's looking a lot better. The acid is eating a lot of that dust out of the pool. I don't see any dust piled up anywhere, so it's doing a great job. Plaster is curing well. So this is the pool after day one of the startup process. It's looking really good. Okay, just finished brushing it on the second day here. Second morning. It's looking good still. Most of the plaster dust is completely gone. And the plaster is getting a little darker.
Okay, I'm going to see if the alkalinity is zeroed out here. I have a test strip. I'm going to test the alkalinity to make sure it's zeroed out here. According to the test strip, the alkalinity is zeroed out here. You want to make sure you measure the pool to make sure you have the right amount of acid for the water. This pool here measures 13,500 gallons for the pool. I measure it in two sections since it's kind of free formed. I measure the deep end and then the shallow end. And the spot adds a little bit to it, so about 14,000 gallons altogether. Let me see what the alkalinity is in the spa here. It's a separate body of water. Okay, I'm still getting an alkalinity reading in the spa here. So I'm going to have to lower it down. I'm going to get some acid and lower it down. So I went ahead and added another quart of acid to the spa. That looks like I zeroed it out. And so now the spa has zero alkalinity also. It's looking really good. You can see that the plaster is really darkening up here in this pool. It's looking really good.